What's up guys, Mikkel here, and we have something very interesting to talk about in this video. Ripple just got an absolutely huge win in the core, and it is flying so far under the radar. Guys, the SEC is almost in a position now where they cannot win this case. They are in such a bad position, and it comes down to one massive mistake the SEC made in court. I'm going to break that down for you in this video. This issue right now has almost all the different attorneys on Twitter who have been following this case infatuated with how big of a mistake the SEC just made here. I'm going to break it down for you guys in real simple terms, so make sure you guys stick around for this whole thing. And even a surprise at the end that shows the SEC is losing faith in their own agency. Make sure to stick around for that. Let's jump into it though. And we know that one of the biggest issues in this case thus far has been the Ethereum free pass speech. This issue, this issue has been so big that the SEC has spent more time, almost a year now, arguing to try to hide documents relating to this speech rather than pushing the narrative on why they brought the case, which is why they believe XRP is an unregistered security. I believe that really shows how big of an issue this really is for the SEC. They brought this case against Ripple for XRP being an unregistered security, and they have spent almost this entire case just trying to conceal documents that came out of their own agency. So originally, the SEC took the position that the Ethereum free pass speech was Bill Hinman's personal opinion. And the reason they did this was because they knew they could not take the other route, which was that the Ethereum free pass speech was agency policy. And the reason they couldn't do that, and that was going to be such a big deal for the SEC, was because if they admit that the Ethereum free pass speech was agency policy, they would have to compare between XRP and Ethereum and why they thought XRP. XRP was an unregistered security, and they thought Ethereum was a commodity. This is an impossible differentiation to make because we know that in almost every aspect, XRP is so much less of a security than Ethereum ever was. Because of this, this is not something the SEC could have gone into court and said. They would have had so little evidence and would have ended up exposing themselves and showing that in every single aspect, Ethereum is so much more of a security. It had an ICO, it had a presale, it had a pre-mine, and XRP had very little to any of these things. Also, the Ethereum Foundation sold to the public. The XRP uh, developers only sold to accredited investors and Ripple only sold to accredited investors. So based on every single aspect of what a security is and how the SEC has outlined it, it looked like Ethereum was so much more of a security and therefore the SEC could not risk going into court and saying that that speech was agency policy and then having to prove to the court why XRP does not fall into the same category as Ethereum. It would have been impossible to do even by the smartest crypto experts. So the SEC took the position to try to get around this, saying that this speech was all Bill Hinman's personal opinion. Now, this was a very short-sighted decision by the SEC because it ultimately forced them to hand over all the documents leading up to the Ethereum free pass speech over to Ripple. Because the question is, why was Bill Hinman running around giving his personal opinion to the market? And if he was doing that, which the SEC claims he was doing that, well, then Ripple deserves to know why he was doing that and what documents led up to it. So the SEC found themselves in a catch-22. They couldn't say it was agency policy because they would have to compare, compare Ethereum to XRP, and they couldn't say it was Hinman's personal opinion, or they would expose the documents that led to the Ethereum free pass speech in ETHgate. So... The SEC tried to ride a very fine line. They essentially tried to go right down the middle, not hand over the Ethereum free pass speech documents, also not admit, admit it was agency guidance, and just hope the court would help them out and they could just skate by and essentially say, we're the SEC, we're going to do what we want. The court did not fall for this in the slightest, and the SEC ended up digging themselves into such a big hole that they actually got the worst possible scenario, and that's what I want to explain to you right here because it is so important to understand. When the SEC tried to ride this fine line, they essentially started moving away from the fact of what they originally were saying when they said this speech was uh, all Bill Hinman's personal opinion, and they tried kind of tried to trans into it, transition into the idea that it was kind of agency guidance, but not really. Well, this got them into some big trouble the other day when they were arguing in front of the court in person, and the SEC attorney made a huge 
slip up. At this point, it's so important to understand that the court has already determined and already concluded that Bill Hinman's free pass speech for Ethereum was his personal opinion. The SEC has already been forced to hand over these documents to Ripple, so the SEC was really just digging their grave even deeper. They were already going to have to hand over the Bill Hinman Ethereum free pass documents, so they might has might as well have just stuck to the opinion that, hey, it was his personal opinion, let's try to argue from there. The SEC made a huge mistake, though. They tried to switch the argument again for the third time, and the court was not having it. The SEC attorney, in a desperation move, accidentally said to the court, and guys, this is the biggest thing that you need to understand, the SEC attorney accidentally said to the court that Bill Hinman gave the speech to, to guide the market. The SEC attorney literally admitted that Bill Hinman gave the speech to guide the market. So the reason this is so big and such a bad thing for the SEC right now is because, first of all, this is a 180 to the other side of their original argument of it being Bill Hinman's personal opinion. But they already argued it was Bill Hinman's personal opinion, and therefore Ripple is already getting the Ethereum free pass documents. So the SEC already lost that argument, and they're reaping the punishment of that loss. They have to hand over the documents. But the SEC, in a desperation move, tried to make an impossible transition, and one last time tried to argue to the court that it was kind of agency-guided, kind of not. But in the process, they seriously misspoke and actually just flat out said it was agency-guided. This is so bad for the SEC, so bad, because not only now is Ripple getting the Ethereum free pass documents, but now they can argue that because the SEC admitted that that speech was agency guidance, they can argue that they never even knew that XRP could be a non-compliant security. That's because if the SEC speech is agency guidance, which the SEC admitted in court, well then Ripple could have looked at that speech and said, hey, XRP is way less of a security than Ethereum ever was. Therefore, when it, when the SEC gave that speech and because they admitted that was market guidance, well, that means XRP is not a security either, and the SEC themselves have admitted this. This is a huge issue for the SEC, but massive for Ripple on fair notice. Not only will it be determined that XRP is not a security, but it will be determined that Ripple was given the guidance this entire time that supports the fact that the SEC thought this entire time over this past eight years that XRP was not a security, and the SEC the other day in court literally accidentally admitted this. So now, not only is the SEC going to expose the Ethereum free pass speech, they're going to expose Bill Hinman, but now, in the process, they also accidentally admitted that they have known this entire time that XRP was not a security by saying it is comparable to Ethereum. And anyone, and this is a bigger problem for all of the rest of crypto, not a bigger problem, a bigger problem for the SEC with the rest of crypto, because now every single project that was around before Ethereum can look to this court statement and say, the Ethereum free pass speech was market guidance. If my project was around before Ethereum and met the same general attributes that the SEC claimed made Ethereum not a security, well, my project is not a security either. Guys, the SEC dug themselves a deep hole here. And this transitions into my last point. One of the SEC commissioners who actually voted to bring this case against Ripple actually just left the agency yesterday. Guys, we are watching a mass exodus from the SEC. People are running from the corruption. They know it smells bad. Guys, I would not be surprised that if once midterms came around, Gary Gensler stepped down. He has dug himself a deep hole. It does not look good for the SEC. But the good news about that is things are looking great for Ripple. I don't see any avenue that Ripple could actually lose this case now, especially with the judges on our side. We have some of the best judges we could possibly get for this case. Make sure to give them the respect they deserve. They have done a fantastic job. Anyway, guys, this is my last day on vacation. Back to the normal grind. Back to the office. I hope everyone is having a great day. And for now, Mickle out.